<laughs> the greatest moment ever. That may be the greatest <laughs> moment ever. The, the famous line, I'm going yeah. to put it in my pocket. What's going on, Coyote Pack? And welcome back to Base Camp, the awesome fort that we built here in the Brave Wilderness office. And it's mm -hmm. coming together, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, exploding with color today. Look at all this new stuff. I know, we've got some trinkets and artifacts over here. Look some... at that tooth. Yeah, that's a Megalodon tooth, don't touch. Oh, he's touching it. <laughs> no, not in your pocket, <laughs> that's my Megalodon tooth, Mario. But some of you out there watching may notice that your art is starting to show up on the walls, specifically, I wanted to call out this one, Ooh. Elks at Sunset. Now this came to us from Kirsten. She wrote a nice little note on the back. Should I read it? Yeah, let's hear it. I'm sure Kirsten would appreciate it. Hi Coyote, I love your show. Well, thank you for watching. And you inspire me. I hope this painting is good enough to be put on your base camp wall. It certainly is. Base camp approved. Oh yeah. Thank you for your hard work and you do, sorry. Thank you for your hard work and you guys too, Mario and Mark, signed oh. Kirsten. She also loves the book and asks, will we ever tour in Canada? Ooh. As a matter of fact, we will at some point. Now, I specifically love this because it is the Brave Wilderness colors. Look how it matches your hat. Oh yeah, it really does. Kristen did a great job. Now, I have a question. Yeah. Um, are these elks or caribou? They are 100% elks. Is that what she said on the back? Nope, but I can just tell from their field marks. Great job, okay. Kristen. <laughs> Those are elk, and that picture will live right there. Now, we've got a really, really, really exciting episode plan for you guys today. It's an oldie, but one of everyone's favorites. Mark, do you know what episode I'm talking about? I think it has a familiar character by the name of Wilson. Wilson! Mario, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I want some, a uh, little bit of coconut. Ooh, for breakfast? For breakfast, uh. yeah. Coconut breakfast, our first ever on location episode, which also debuted our star friend Wilson. Now, I do have a very big announcement to make in Whoa. today's base camp. You didn't tell us about any announcements. Well, this is a little secret that nobody knows about yet. This surprises. is- Surprises, this guy's full of surprises. Oh, today is going to be huge, but I'm not gonna give away the surprise yet. I wanna get into the video. You guys, keep watching, trust me, you're gonna be happy about this, but it's a huge announcement and it will finally be the opportunity for me to say, guys, go to the Brave Wilderness store and, and you guys won't be able to say, no, 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 Coyote, we can't sell what that is. Trust oh, me, it's good. Selfie sticks? Oh, uh, well, the selfie sticks all sold out. Those are gone. Once oh. you read the website, sold out. They've been sold out. Are we selling these plants now? You couldn't stop talking about this plant the other day. That plant is pretty cool. It's a real plant. Most of the time on sets, they have fake plants. That's a real plant. I actually water it every five days. Spare no expense. Of course not. All right, you guys ready to get into coconut breakfast? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, Wilson. Look at that shot. Who got that one? I did from my wrist camera. Check that out right there. In these coconut oh, you're trees. looking a little, uh, a little shaky. That there. camera shot's a little shaky. Oh, shaky. the camera's a little shaky. Yeah, I've like clean shaven there for the most part. Really that Look at those coconuts. Uh, I, you know, I don't really know what I was thinking in this moment either. I was like, I was like, you're not going to tell me to actually climb that tree, are you? So let's talk about the start of the on location series first and foremost. I think so, it's a great idea. We get to go to some really cool places and we get to see some really amazing things. And we thought to ourselves back when we shot this video, how can we share this with the audience? You know, obviously we have all the cool animal adventures, but what about the rest of the stuff? Mm -hmm. So we developed on location. And with this video, we didn't really have any idea what to shoot. So Mario suggested, hey guys. Yeah, we're in Florida. There's palm trees, coconuts. And I was like, do you guys want to open up a coconut and eat it? And I said, yes, I'm always hungry, so yes. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I love that movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, and he struggled so much trying to open up a coconut. I'm like, is it really that tough? I had never opened a coconut at this point in my life. Yeah, and you saw me, and one I, behind the scenes, I actually opened one mm -hmm. really fast, so I challenged you. I was like, right. can you open one fast as well? I'm always up to the challenge. I mean, if Mario can do it, <laughs> you know I can do it, you know? And then, you know, we went about shooting this video. Mm -hmm. Kind of on the fly, because that's the whole point, right? The mm -hmm. on-location videos are truly behind the scenes. And yeah. We don't really produce them. They are what they Except are. they've gotten pretty produced at this point. It was originally supposed to be more of a vlog series, and right. now it has evolved yeah. to being slightly more elaborate. Well, but... maybe the cribs, because we have to plan on how we're gonna move the cameras That's around. True. But like for a video like this, it is on the fly. Yeah, yeah, shot with one main camera and the GoPro cameras, and that was about it. And we were like, well, let's just see what happens. So we were off and rolling. All right, back to the video. Now you have perspective. 
All right, ready? I'm going to climb it. All right, go for it. And this is my, right, my famous, green, one of my first tree climbing okay. shots, I believe. People didn't know that I was amazing at climbing trees. But I don't I think we really did either. Yeah, I'm like a cat. I wasn't sure you were going to be able to pull this off. Look at these moves. There's a little jump cut there as I got up a little bit higher. Now this, you're, here it comes. Yes! <laughs> the greatest moment ever. That may be the greatest <laughs> moment ever. The, the famous line, I'm going yeah. to put it in my pocket. Now, was that just a natural reaction to catching a lizard in a tree? Well, we weren't making an iguana episode, but iguanas are actually a lot tougher to catch than you guys may think. They're extremely fast. So when I saw this little iguana, as I was coming up the tree, he kind of looks over the edge, he's like, is that a man in my tree? And it's all windy, so he's like, well, I'm green. The tree palm fronds are green. Maybe he won't notice me. And I was like, nope, I see you, buddy. Grabbed him and, and nothing I could do because I had to get the coconuts. That was yeah. the point of the episode. So yeah. I was like, just naturally, it was like, let me put it in my pocket. Yeah, I mean, I saw you kind of fidgeting around up there. I'm like, what's he doing? The coconuts that? Oh, oh, mm -hmm. a lizard. Wow, this is cool. This just got really interesting. And Mario, what'd you think? Well, I've seen iguanas in that area quite a bit. So it's cool that you found one of the hatchlings mm -hmm. in that tree, yeah. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a name quite yet, even though you guys know the name, but let's keep going with the video and see what happens. I'm a little trouble there. I'm up in the tree. I mean, I'm hanging on by one arm from the tree trying to safely get this guan in my pocket. What's great is you could hear how windy it is. Too. Oh yeah, I mean this certainly wasn't safe. Kids, don't ever try to climb a coconut oh, man. tree. Really shaking the camera there, Mark. I got it. And those coconuts are really hard to get out of the tree. I had to twist and twist and twist that thing before it finally dropped down. Here, here it comes, here's a, quite the scrape. <laughs> oh my yep. gosh, I forgot you said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I caught an iguana. Look at that. Blech. Oh, he just sticks his tongue out. I mean, that timing couldn't have been any I'm more perfect. Right now. All right. Green two coconut, three, brown three, coconut, three, green three, iguana. Three, We're good to go. Right, let's get out of the wind. I figure out how to open these up. Man. I mean, I remember when we cut at that point and we're like, okay, well, I guess that's where the new animation will come in for on location. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the coconuts, we had the iguana, and we were off and running at this point. Again, none of this was planned. Nope. It just happened this way. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, and I remember at that point when you got down off the tree, I was like, wow. This works. Yeah, I don't think I even knew what to say. But check this out. This is the cool new animation mm -hmm. for and on location. Thank you to all our friends at Pixel Park here mm -hmm. in Columbus, Ohio. They uh, were responsible for making this, and I think they did a pretty good job. It's pretty awesome. Love the airplanes. It's got a little Indiana Jones inspiration in there, in case you didn't notice. On location, Florida. Hey everyone, I'm Coyote Peterson, and welcome yeah, to our we know new your name, buddy. <laughs> on location. This is Whoa, he's got a knife. Whoa, look at all the easy. Stuff we do. <laughs> When we're not filming and catching animals. This morning, I climbed up a tree and got these two coconuts. Yep. I also caught an iguana, which was pretty cool because animals just make Now, in case food. you're wondering, where well, is the iguana right, right now? Mario, you like actually took him and put him in your pocket. One. So we had him held there like off scene solid. just yeah. in yeah. case we were going to use him at the end. Because like all of a sudden, like, well, Coyote, where did the iguana go? First, I'm going to use my Sog Seal Pup. Sog Seal Pup. Shout out to Sog, my absolute favorite on location tool that I oh, use. Whoa, whoa. I like how quick we are to no, just get to the point. Yeah. It's just like... climbed a palm tree to get a coconut or climbed a palm tree to get a coconut and catch an iguana. So it's a first for everybody. Yeah, so see, it's a great morning. You're a coconut rookie. Yes, I am complete rookie and I mm -hmm. hope I don't cut my thumb off doing this. All right, you ready? I actually, right, I'm, glad, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you changed your position in life. Oh, originally, you had it like this. Yeah, I'm just wheeling <laughs> that thing around like a kid with his toy, you know? I mean, and, and it's a lot harder to get through that Hanks. outer yeah. green and husk of the coconut than you would think. You have to basically cut layers and then peel it back. Right, it's like it's got all these stringy layers in there and you have to go from the side like that because if you go Ones, round ways, so like circumference be, around it, no. it, it doesn't work. That's a sharp okay. knife. You gotta be careful with those dog knives. Yes, I was trying to be as careful as possible, but it's there tough because yeah, here you go, you get to see yes. the inside of it here. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Mm. Nice. nice. Okay. Show, show Ooh. That smells like a pumpkin. It did. It smelled like pumpkin on the inside. I did not see that coming. I, I never. Oh, why would you try that? I thought it was maybe like a cantaloupe. You know, like a cantaloupe. A cantaloupe. 
cantaloupe? Isn't it cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Really? I've been pronouncing it wrong my entire life. C a n t e l o p e. Is that how you spell it? Pronounce cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Or cantaloupe, depending on if you grew up in Ohio or not. But yeah, I thought it would be like a cantaloupe or cantaloupe on the inside. And then look, you get it on the inside, and you're like, oh man, like I was so far past Tom Hanks at this point. Well it's pretty interesting how small the actual wow, fruit is yeah. on yeah. the inside of a coconut. That's well, it's exactly a big seed, right? And after. they're basically designed to now, keep that little compartment like mm -hmm. safe. Coconut. And those coconuts coconut could travel two. thousands of miles, this, like floating in the See ocean, and until they land somewhere. And then they can, like, that whole thing will grow then into a new yeah. coconut. coconut tree. Okay, so I didn't actually break into the seed. Oh, yeah. I guess that was good somewhere. timing right there, because again, we didn't plan any of this out. I was thinking, okay, oh, wow. let's oh, husk like the brown one, mm -hmm. and the brown was actually a lot easier to open up. And yeah. in Castaway, they didn't they didn't show any brown right on Well, that's your classic you kind of coconut, coconut look mm -hmm. that you yeah, will find at the store. Right. There is the coconut. Wow. It's kind of like a little football. <laughs> Look at that. That's genuine okay. ex excitement right there, guys. I mean, Green I was coconut? so stoked Brown to coconut. have gotten these things out. I mean, they're full, full of milk. delicious coconut juice. I'm just happy you didn't rock. cut your finger off. We were really excited about mm. that. To do yeah, now. that's a good day for me. These and have some breakfast. All right, I'm gonna get into this one first and see if there's any coconut milk in there. I also didn't know how this was gonna go either. I'm mean, just kind of hacking away at oh, it. Look at that. There's Look how close your fingers right are. There. Yeah. Knife safety, kids. Don't play with knives. I'm gonna give it a go here. Yeah, drink it, drink it like, drink it like Tom Hanks. Make sure you get it, get it run down your face. Yeah, see, this is really, you gotta go a little more castaway here. Yeah. We need some castaway. Yeah, perfect, just like that. <laughs> yes, it was delicious, yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's good, yeah. that's really good. All right, well, let's open up the brown one. Wow, that's refreshing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mario and I are sitting back there like, we coconut milk. Yeah, you know? I was getting a little hyper off that coconut <laughs> milk, though. This, the, the, the fruit of the brown one is definitely harder to get into and is an actual laxative, right? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be careful drinking it's that okay. juice. Yep. Hmm, we found out about that 45 minutes later. The green one? We didn't make an episode on that, much though. Much tastier than the milk coming out of the brown one. Okay, now I wanna get into the meat. Just. Bash it. Yeah, Bash I mean, well, that's pretty much what you have to do. There was no safe way to cut it with a knife, so really jelly-like. Yep. The green coconut has the consistency of. It doesn't look real good. Yeah, it was like a mix between fish and a really bad sneeze. You know, really snotty and droopy like that. You guys ever have one of those sneezes where you're like, oh, how did this happen? How did this come out? Yeah, textures are a big thing for me. It was really tough for me to eat that. I hope you guys aren't eating breakfast right now. Coconut, but this is a uh, great comparison so mm -hmm. between coconut, the two milk. types of coconuts. Delicious. Well, they're the same well, coconut. It's same it's coconut. coconut. Different stages. Right. Yeah. Different stages, yeah. yeah. This meat is like. All right, I'm going to bust this open on the rock. You ready? Yeah, I didn't know what was going to happen here. Arbitrary GoPro shot. Let's see. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yes. I remember when you opened this, now you could that, smell the coconut yeah. right away. Now that's like, oh, that's what I expect the inside the of a coconut to look like. So satisfying mm -hmm. to open that up and see that white flesh yeah. of the Where coconut. Super like. white. The camera almost couldn't handle it. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's good. That looks delicious. All right, I'm going to give this a go. You ready? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's that good right there. Mm -hmm. That's good coconut right there. Wow. Now we got oh, into now. the sharing. This is where yeah. I was like, oh, you guys should have some coconut too. Yeah. It's actually kind of tough to, to cut through at an angle, though. You have to be really careful with that as well. There is still that harder mm -hmm. shell on the yeah. outside. That's it's delicious. like, yeah. how do they, they must use like an ice cream scoop or something, like a cheese grater type system to shred the coconut. You know, like when you I get think they shredded grind it, they grind it up or they process it. Maybe that's what they do. Who's that? That's that's our new friend. Oh, oh yes. Mm. Hey, Mario, where's Wilson? The star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Mario, where's Wilson? He's like, oh, he's in my Wilson. pocket. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our first <laughs> You see a piece of coconut <laughs> spitting out of my mouth. <laughs> Real Actually, proper etiquette there, Coyote. A green coconut and a brown coconut, opening them both up, trying the milk, and then of course, I keep going. the meat. What we've determined from this Wilson's is like, that iguanas are awesome. This is Wilson. And that the green coconut I'm just improv yeah. at this point. I was like, I know what to say here. <laughs> They're awesome. It was great though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what's fun about it. This is all this one my, single take. There were no cuts here. You just eat it. Be brave. Stay wild. This is pretty classic we'll see right you on here. The next adventure. Or maybe it's here. I named here it is. Wilson. So this yeah. is the next part. Named that volleyball Wilson and Castaway. I think that's the fitting name for this iguana. 
Don't ever leave me, Wilson. Don't ever leave. <laughs> You're my best friend. Gotta kiss him. <laughs> he just, Amazing! Yeah, <laughs> want a kiss. This is it. This is my Tom Hanks performance. Tom Hanks. Yes. That's great. Man, that was my such favorite. a cool episode to film. <laughs> I wonder if Tom Hanks has ever seen that video. I don't think so, but everybody should tag Tom Hanks and be like, have you ever seen Coyote Peterson's portrayal of Tom Hanks? Let me tell you what a dream come true would be to ever take Tom Hanks on an adventure Ooh. back to an island oh, man. to open up coconuts and look for Wilson the iguana. That would be pretty cool. So Tom, email address in the uh, description mm -hmm. if you want to write in and Playing an adventure at the Brave Wilderness Crew, I'm sure we could arrange it. I'm sure he's thinking there's not a chance you're going to get me back on an <laughs> island to eat coconuts. He's tired but of coconuts. for us, this was certainly a really cool experience getting oh, yeah. the chance to see what it's like to open up coconuts. And lo and behold, this was quickly a very popular episode on the Brave Wilderness yeah, channel. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Uh, I remember when we released this video, we, did, we weren't really sure what the audience was going to mm -hmm. think. Up until this point, everything we released had been an animal adventure. Mm -hmm. So this was our first foray into giving you guys different kinds of content. Yeah. And it was yeah. well received. Yeah. yeah, a lot of it was very natural and the best thing is we had fun with it. Mm -hmm. Like we genuinely had a lot of fun making it and I think that uh, portrayed itself really well. Yeah, the cool yeah. thing that people probably don't realize watching is that anytime we film an episode of Breaking Trail Beyond the Tide or Dragon Tales, you see the editing, the cuts. There are multiple things shot, sometimes out of sequence. It all depends what the animal is that we encounter and then of course the B-roll that we fill in around it. But with this, from climbing the tree to catching the iguana to bringing down the coconuts, mm -hmm. the cameras just rolled. And you can yeah. notice it's just jump cuts that yeah. tie it together. There's no close-up shots. It was very simple to produce, which yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it and, was. And actually, it was a video like this that paved the path for videos like this that we're making right exactly. now. Exactly. Uh, being able to communicate with you guys in different ways other than our animal ventures, which we still like to make yes. and we'll still continue to make. Yes, I know sometimes people yeah. write in on Basecamp, they're like, I liked it better when you guys did animal adventures. You mean like when a Friday episode comes out and it's an animal adventure? Or sometimes so, a Wednesday and a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even still, we love being able to give you guys this perspective of behind the scenes. And I know at this point you're thinking to yourselves, Coyote, you promised us an announcement. When oh, is the announcement ooh, yeah. coming? The announcement's right now. So I know I've been trying to sell you guys selfie sticks that I apologize that they're sold out, but Wilson, being an iguana that went into my pocket, uh -huh. we thought was a great idea. So Mario said, we should do a t-shirt that has an iguana in a pocket named Wilson. So right now, if you go to the Brave Wilderness store, you will find the official Wilson shirt. You can get a little iguana in the pocket. It says Wilson. Nice. And now everybody can have an iguana in their pocket. How cool is that? That's awesome. And this is true. This is 100% <laughs> true. Head over to the store right now to pick up your Wilson t-shirt. The Very limited. So hurry up, go over there, get them now, because they will sell out. Well. I'm gonna go order mine right now. Mario, give everybody yes. else a chance first. But yeah, I want one. Mario, little head start, please. Well, he, in all yeah. fairness, he is the concept creator behind that one. So <laughs> it was a team effort, and now we get to share it with everybody out there in the Coyote Pack. You guys ready for an outro? Sure. Let's do it. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Mark Vins. Be oh. Oh, you forgot about Mario. Got him on Mario, Vins. <laughs> Say your name. Let's oh, try it again. Mario. Let's try it again. Okay, okay. one more time. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Mark Vins. I'm Mario Dakoa. Be brave. Stay, Stay wild. wild. We'll see you on the next base camp adventure. Wilson, Wilson, I hope you're watching. What's in your pocket? Wilson, if you love this adorable lizard as much as we do, then you definitely need an iguana in your pocket. Head over to the Brave Wilderness store and pick up your exclusive Wilson t-shirt, Lickety Split, because they are certain to sell out. And just in case you never saw Coconut Breakfast, make sure to go back and watch the full episode where I show you the difference between a green and a brown coconut. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.